understand that we should be able to identify convection currents that show up gray and white, and those are important. But firefighters are looking quickly for that colorization. If they don't see it, I have reviewed hundreds of videos where firefighters have scanned, gray white convection currents went past them, they were crawling in an exhaust, and they never recognized it. That comes from thermal imaging training and education. If your firefighters don't recognize it, start there. Anything moving fast, white, hot, is hot. That's convection currents. You don't care about what color it is, just know it's hot. But when does your camera show colorization and why? The manufacturer gets to choose when they show color at what temperature. In this model, it starts at 302 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a good number because we're starting to get above the range of where things, people and things can survive. So you think about your mask, for example, on a firefighter's face piece, it starts to soften as little as 290 degrees Fahrenheit. The average temperature, according to the face piece study that they failed, was 356 degrees. Plus, if I look up and I have a 300 degree apparent ceiling temperature, and I've got 100 plus down here apparent temperatures, I could have survivable space. That's a good thing. If I look up and I see 500 plus degrees, I don't need to leave that alone. I need to fix that. So when you look at your camera, you need to know what those colors mean, what those moving things mean. So we talk about reading the heat. I want to be able to read that, that value that's in front of me and say, wow, that white moving stuff is called convection currents. The colorization gives me an idea how hot those surfaces are. And like I said before, it's an estimated value. But what's more important than that is this gives us the ability to see layout. Where am I going? Where, what's in front of me? Is this a nice neat bedroom? Is it a kitchen? Is it a, is it a corner office? Is it a child's bedroom with two cribs in it? All of that's important and how clear I can see that depends on a couple different things. Does your camera have a very good thermal sensitivity rating? So the lower that number in units millikelvin, the better you can see. That's important. Does it have a high resolution? NFPA recommends that all thermal imaging cameras have at least 320 by 240 resolution or 76,800 pixels. Why? Because it allows you as the firefighter to see a small child's hand at a preset distance, which is approximately 15 feet. Think about an oriented search. Firefighter at a doorway, looking down, looking into the doorway, he's able to guide his, his or her firefighters and be able to see that environment and possibly where that victim is or the victim, his, him or herself.